What if I told you the world's fastest electric car isn't European, and it isn't American either? It's Chinese. The BYD Yangwang U 9-track edition has just rocketed past every expectation, clocking a mind-bending 293.54 miles per hour. Faster than a Remak, faster than Aspark Owl, faster than anything powered by batteries on this planet. So, how did BYD, a company once known for affordable EVs, build a hypercar that leaves even Bugatti and Koenigsegg nervous? Let's break down the story of the car that just redefined electric speed. The run happened at the Poppenberg Proving Grounds in Germany. Behind the wheel was professional racer Mark Bassing, a man who already held a top speed record in the standard U9 just a year ago. Back then, he pushed the car to a still insane 233 miles per hour. This time, he didn't just edge past that number, he obliterated it. The track addition surged to 293.54 miles per hour, adding almost 60 miles per hour on top of an already blistering record. In the world of hypercars, where each mile per hour at the top end costs millions in R&D, that kind of leap is almost unheard of. The U9 track edition didn't just set a new record, it set a new standard for what's possible in electric performance. So what makes this monster so devastatingly quick? Power. The standard BYD U9 already comes with a jaw-dropping 1,287 horsepower from four electric motors. But the track edition? It dials up to 3,000 horsepower. And this isn't just raw numbers thrown together. This is enabled by BYD's 1,200-volt ultra-high-voltage platform, the first mass-produced system of its kind. Higher voltage means less current for the same power, which reduces heat, boosts efficiency, and allows sustained peak performance. But horsepower alone doesn't win top speed wars. Control does. At nearly 300 miles per hour, the difference between record-breaking speed and catastrophic disaster comes down to stability. That's where BYD's independent torque vectoring system comes in. Imagine a computer that checks and adjusts each wheel's power delivery over 100 times per second. That's faster than your brain can process what's happening. Layered on top is the Dysus X Intelligent Body Control System, the same wild suspension tech that once wowed crowds by making the U9 hop and dance at car shows. The system keeps the car flat, composed, and predictable under brutal acceleration, high G braking, and sweeping high speed corners. This combination means that when the speedometer needle dives deep into the 200s, the driver still feels like they're in control. Now, let's talk about aerodynamics, the invisible battle every hypercar fights. The track edition actually ditches the massive rear wing of the standard U9. At first glance, that seems risky. The underbody and diffuser are doing the heavy lifting. By cleaning up the rear airflow and letting the front splitter manage pressure up front, BYD reduced drag while keeping stability intact. This design allows the U9 to slice through the air with less resistance, saving precious miles per hour that would otherwise be lost to turbulence. At these speeds, even the angle of a mirror matters, and BYD's engineering team clearly obsessed over every single detail. The result? A car that doesn't just hold together at 293 miles per hour. It feels like it belongs there. Machines don't set records alone. People do. Mark Bassing, the man in the driver's seat, admitted he never thought he'd break his own record so soon. That says a lot. Confidence at nearly 300 miles per hour doesn't come from raw power. It comes from trust. Trust in the tires, the aerodynamics, the chassis, and the software systems. Because at those speeds, the smallest twitch, the slightest instability, and it's game over. The fact that Bassing could not only push the car but feel secure doing it is the strongest endorsement the U9 track edition could ask for. For years, the electric hypercar crown seemed to belong to Europe. The Remak Nevera R, with 268 miles per hour. The Aspark Owl, hitting 272 miles per hour. Titans of performance, born from precision engineering. But now, BYD has leapt past both planting a Chinese flag firmly at the top of the EV hypercar mountain. 
And this isn't just a story about one record. It's about perception. For decades, the narrative was that Chinese cars could be fast, affordable, or practical, but never world-leading. The Yang Wang Yu 9-track edition just rewrote that narrative in giant, blazing letters across the speedometer. Of course, speedruns are spectacular, but they raise a bigger question. Can the U9 track edition do more than blast down a straight line? If BYD can translate this performance into lap after lap consistency on circuits like the Nürburgring, then this isn't just a top speed hero. It's a complete hypercar. That would put it in the same conversation as not only electric rivals, but legends like the Bugatti Chiron Supersport and Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute. BYD isn't charging $3 million for this machine. While pricing hasn't been officially confirmed, it's expected to undercut its European rivals dramatically. That means the U9 track edition could redefine not just performance, but value in the hypercar world. BYD has proven that electric hypercars aren't just about instant torque off the line. They can dominate at the highest levels of speed, stability, and engineering. And if a Chinese automaker can build a nearly 3,000 horsepower, 293 miles per hour record breaker this soon, just imagine where the next five years will take us. Bugatti, Rimac, Koenigsegg, they all just felt the ground shift beneath their feet. So, what do you think? Has BYD officially stolen the crown from Europe's hypercar legends? Or is this just the beginning of a new arms race in electric performance? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next chapter in the future of speed. Keep chasing the extraordinary.